Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add your jet drive as an additional storage area for Steam on macOS. This is going to be useful if you're running out of space on your internal storage and you want to use the jet drive as a Steam library location. I'm also going to show you how to move games over from the internal storage to the external storage as well as download new games directly to the jet drive. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider pressing the subscribe button. It only takes a moment and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So here I've got Steam open on my MacBook and let's say we have a game like Warhammer 3. I'm gonna control click on this and click on properties. And if we go to local files here, we can see that this takes up a whopping 110 gigabytes of space. So let's say that we wanna move this to the jet drive. All we need to do is to add the jet drive as a Steam library location. So what we can do is go back to Steam, go to preferences, then we'll go to the download section and then we'll click on Steam library folders. And here we can see the games that we have installed, but we want to add the jet drive as an additional storage option. Click plus here, then we'll click this drop down. then we're going to select the jet drive light and then we can press add. So once we've added the jet drive, we're going to scroll back to Macintosh HD. We're going to go ahead and select our game that we want to move. Then we press the move button here and then we can go ahead and move it to the other designated Steam library. We're going to press the move button here and that's going to move the content for this game. So the next time you run it, it's going to run from the jet drive instead, and it's going to save you a ton of space on your MacBook. Also, once you've added the jet drive, if you do download a new game, when you press install, we can now have the choice of selecting the internal solid state drive, or we can now select the jet drive. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe. I've got lots of other video tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.